The Federal Reserve Bank is ending its weeks-long quiet period and giving us the chance to answer questions about fighting inflation and avoiding a recession. Our Jonah Kaplan reports on what rate hikes mean for the economy and our bank accounts. Inside here at the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis, this is the mission statement. We serve the public by pursuing a growing economy and stable financial system that works for all of us. And that mission statement built upon two foundational pillars, stable prices and maximum employment. Which makes today's predicament all the more perplexing. Historically high prices, historically low unemployment. Balancing and trade-offs are things that we talk about all the time here. Our talk today is about the Fed's decision to raise its benchmark interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point. This rate is really the price big and local banks can charge each other when borrowing money. That money, by the way, is how banks afford to give loans to businesses to expand and families to buy cars, houses, or whatever else they want on a credit card. Raising the interest rate then, making it more expensive to borrow money, which may make people not want to do it. The idea is if everyone pulls back just a little, not a lot, but a little, then it could give the economy some breathing room, so to say. Right. Uh, and that is the great thing about prices. Uh, and that is an, and an interest rate is a price. Uh, so the, that price mechanism gets people to act a little bit differently, slow down their spending. How do you know or how does the Fed know if it's doing too much too quickly? I think the easiest answer to that is we watch a lot of data. <laughs> um, and so there are a lot of us paying really close attention to the indicators that are coming in, trying to understand, you know, in real time, where is the economy at? Raising interest rates could make it more expensive to buy a house, a car, a student loan, and hold credit card debt. How it might affect gas and food prices if people pump the brakes on driving and shopping, more supply could lessen demand. That Federal Open Market Committee, we'll just call them the people that run the Fed, they actually meet every eight weeks, and that's when they can decide again whether to raise rates. They'll do that potentially at the end of July, and then three more times until 2023. In Minneapolis, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. For more on how to prepare for a recession and the chances of one happening at all, you can watch Jonah's full special report streaming on CBS News Minnesota at 9 o'clock tonight.